Go ahead. Um, do you want to tell me anything about like the living conditions? Yes. Well, uh, we actually time we were most of the time in tents, but but we also had tents where we had the uh, sandbags around the tents, so we had incoming shells. And actually, because we were supporting division, they didn't want us too close to the front lines because the first time, we were too close to when we first got there and we got chilled a few times, so we had to pull back. But uh, normally, uh, we lived in tents, not cots, and uh, the winters were horrible there. We, uh, it was down around zero, and you'd have to, would have to maintain your outfit. You, you, still, you still would work guard duty every night, and then in terms of the daytime, you were up close to the front lines with doing the survey work. But the, uh, the winters were terrible. Was, uh, but fortunately, something came out with Mickey Mouse boots, which helped make the deal in keeping your feet warm. Most people use frozen feet, you know, so that was a great deal. And everybody concerned about being away, everybody was worried about actually being killed. So every night, we used to, you know, attend a group of us used to get in and see a rosary every night. And uh, this is a, we rotate guys leading a rosary in a tent. It, uh, when you don't know if you're not coming back, it makes things get pretty important to you. So we wanted to make sure we try to do, use everything we got at disposal to come back alive. There's uh, another interesting point. On the front lines, they usually had bunkers. Uh, that they, they try, they really, the army really tried to support you well. Even though they, so if you were off the front lines, if you, had to come, uh, you would come come back like the opposite side of a mountain, like, and there'd be a bunker where they try to heat food. So the guys would come off the line and go into the bunker to try to get fed the food and then go outside like that. So okay. everything on the front line was bunkers. Bunkers were big holes in the wall with big trees of uh, tree uh, trunks about uh, uh, three, a foot in diameter with laying maybe 20 foot long leg over a stretch of a hole like. And you'd go into the, underneath the hole and on top of that would be sandbags. So it would, if a shell came in, it, would, it could take the impact of the shell if it was a direct hit, you know? Uh, yeah. Very good. Um, well, I want to thank you for doing the questions. The interview? Yeah. Oh, it was um, a pleasure. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Grandpa. Th thank you, Grandpa. Okay. Bye.